as spiritual about toasting, celebrating the death of again, the innocent people. Uh, again, I, I know what you're trying to do. Again, it says come. You see that? You reap what you sow. That's what it says. So you think, what happened, you you think what happened I'm, I'm in Boston is America reaping what it's sown around the world. Yes? Is that accurate? Is that fair? Description of your thoughts? I do believe that the so-called God of this world is going to handle things. Mm -hmm. And that will make the argument, here's a larger list I'm just as long. I'm asking you, you as a black man, mm. you were sent here to ask me these questions. Yes, sir. I'm not going to run away from them. Sure. Now, I'm asking you as a black man, uh -huh. do you ever get angry about sure. anything that happens to us? Sure. Okay, then. So why am I wrong for it? Why are you saying that? I, did, I didn't say you were wrong. So I, just, I made question. an observation. So then why ask? Because it's a question I, I want to ask. For because in looking What's for the what is that? What does a handful of nooses being hung on college campuses, high school campuses, and in a variety of places have to do with the notion of whether or not you think yourself as a black man, you're free or not free. Well, you know, it's like this. If I was free, you wouldn't be here right now mm -hmm. asking me these questions. Why are you saying this? If I was free to say what I wanted to say, why are you here? Dealing with this here, see, I had, see this here? Twelve laws of karma. See that right? You, you reap what you is sow. This is biblical. Okay. Right. This is biblical. This is what karma means in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You reap what you sow. Preachers preach this every Sunday, all across the country, right? You reap what you sow. Why is it that? Now, I, I go to I'm I go church. I'm ask you a question. Okay. Why is it that when it comes down to a black man's only just speaking about the atrocities that happen to our people, why is it that we're not allowed to do so without being portrayed by the media, whether it be European or black, that we are these monsters? We're not allowed to speak this stuff. It's in the Bible. This Bible was translated, this here was taken from our people. See the African Heritage Bible. This was taken from our people, this Bible. Some would say it goes back to Egypt. But what is, and all what that. is spiritual about toasting, celebrating? the death again of the uh, again I, I know what you're trying to do again it says come you see that you mm -hmm. reap what you sow that's what it says so you think, what, also, happened, you so you think what happened I'm, I'm in boston is america reaping what it's sown around the world yes is that accurate is that fair description of your thoughts i do believe that the so-called god of this world is going to handle things mm -hmm. and let, let me read this to you this is psalms, psalms 137 it says by the rivers of babylon there we sat down yea we wept when we remembered Zion. We hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. For there they carried us away captive, required of us a song. And, that, and they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, sing unto us one of the songs of Zion. Now, if you want to bring that up to reality of today, just go back and watch the movie, The Five Heartbeats. When these five brothers, who were just singers, mm -hmm. driving down the street in the white neighborhood, pulled over by the police, and ask, sang us a song. Y'all sang, sang so, a song. Something else. No, 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 something hold else, on. Something let, else. Me, let me finish. You Please. ask me a question, let me finish the question. Are you the let whole me, Bible? Me, just no, I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna make a point here. Okay. Because you're, you're not gonna sit here and make me seem like I am this monster that the white community has to be I've, afraid I've of. I've not no. used the word monster once. No, but I, you don't have to, but I, I'm not stupid. I know exactly what you're trying to do. So you're psychic then? Yes. Because if, if you're yes. saying that you know what my You best are. believe I am. Really? Some of the things I've said on my show have come to pass. Okay. Yeah, anyway, let me finish this point. Yes, sir. It says, how shall we sing the almighty song in a strange land? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Remember, O Yah, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem. Now that, as far as I know, would be the so-called Jewish individual. Mm -hmm. But they're so intermingled with whites, it could be them too. Mm -hmm. Intermingled. Now, it says who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Raise it means they were trying to cut us off as people. Miss, Miss oh, no, let me finish. I ain't done. You're still How many oh, verses? I got two more verses. Okay. Let me make my point. Yes, sir. It's only fair. It's like me and him had a dialogue. We had a dialogue. I let him talk. He let me talk. Respectful. Don't cut me off. Let me finish my yes, point. Yes, sir. It says, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. As far as I know, people that I deal with, especially the, the Rastafarians, if we can listen to the music of the Jamaicans, they always speak about Babylon, and Babylon is this country here, country of a place of Babel, where everything is just, just all running rampant, basically here. 
Now, let me finish. Who are to be destroyed. That's what it, who are, this is what it, who are to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as you have served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dashes thy little ones against the stone. That's in the Bible. I didn't write that. That's this, you all, not you all, but the Europeans have told us that this thing goes back 2,000 years to the birth of the so-called Christ, yes, death sir. and resurrection, and then 4,000 years before that. Man, I'm a man who sees some things that maybe some people don't see mm. the way I see. And I see countless atrocities that have happened to our people. And I'm not going to be happy about that. Why aren't you angry? Aren't you black? Yes, sir. Okay. So, this, okay, uh, there was a, 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 I think it was a few days ago, not too long ago, there was a young black boy playing outside, just playing, eight years old, just playing. Shot in the face by a 46-year-old white man. He gave no reason why. Mm. This little boy hits the ground, he gets up and he runs to his mother and asks for water, delirious probably not knowing even what happened. And his mother has to look at him and scream because his jaw is torn off. He has a big hole in his face. Am I supposed to just look at that? And all the other atrocities, I can just name on and on and on and on and on. Matt will make the argument. Matt will make the argument. He has a laundry list I'm just as you long. A question. I'm asking you, you as a black man. Mm. You were sent here to ask me these questions. Yes, sir. I'm not going to run away from them. Sure. Now, I'm asking you as a black man. Uh -huh. Do you ever get angry about sure. anything that happens to us? Sure. Okay, then. So why am I wrong for it? Why are you saying that? I didn't, I didn't say you were wrong. So I, I didn't make an observation. So then why ask? Because it's a question I, I want to ask. For what? Because in looking What's for places in which you all have common ground. What is the trying else to make is, me look angry? I'm not trying to make you look any way than the, what you are. My, my job as a journalist being here is to ask you all questions to better understand where you all agree and where you disagree. I'm not here, I'm not here, rep I mean, I'm many things. I'm an African-American man, proud of it. I am Baptist, proud of it. I'm left-handed, proud of it. I'm Clarice Pitts' youngest son, proud of it. But my capacity here today for our conversation is I'm here as a journalist. And so as a journalist, my job, as best I can, is to be objective and to ask you gentlemen objective questions. Okay, so, That's what I'm doing okay, because so one of my one of my observations is that in many ways both of you it seems to me are almost like professional victims, and that <laughs> you blame, you, as you see it, problems of the world on other people. Matt blames his problems on other people. That in some ways that you are no, both. No, 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 We're not going there. I'm not blaming my problems on other people. Hmm. I'm just speaking the truth. These things happen. I'm not blaming our the problems. The truth as you see it. No, it's not as I see it. You're going to tell me Rosewood didn't happen? Well, you black? Really? <laughs> Seriously though, let me ask you a question. Mm. Now, what? Uh, now I answered the question earlier about am I black? Oh, you don't you want me to the ask you the question. No, sir. No, feel free. I haven't said don't ask me a question. You asked me was I black, and I thought I answered that question before. I mean, you, you don't you don't have Alzheimer's. You don't have short memory, dude. Who is your allegiance to? Is your allegiance to people like the black folks in here? Is your allegiance to someone else? Who is your allegiance to? How do you sleep at night? Are you going to be able to try and go to whoever you're going to go to and pick me as this racist or whatever mm. and then sleep at night? Being a black man? I didn't, I didn't, say, I didn't say you were racist. I am but very that's exactly what, I'm I am stupid, man. I know I, exactly what you're trying to do. Really? Yes. Based on what? Based on co-intelligence program information. Oh, see, that's a co-intelligence pro. This is some co-intel pro stuff right here. Mm. But I don't run from that. Do you think, do you think you're paranoid at all? Do you think you're because no, no, I'm not paranoid, sir. I'm not crazy at all. Well, Mr. I'm Pitts, not paranoid, period. I, I, I would say in regards to the paranoia question, um, you know, ask Randy Weaver if he was paranoid. You know, the the, the problem is. But don't you get some, how sometimes both of you both of you guys can can you're both bright men. You both can give a long laundry list of things that have happened against blacks, things that have happened against whites. You both can use the Bible to make your arguments. But it doesn't mean that you don't. Well, I think history would end up proving us right. And I think the fact that we can identify within this system that both sides suffer, both sides bleed, this is not optimal for whites and not optimal for blacks, that's why I think separatism can be a message that can ring true to every single group of people. Because who doesn't want to control their own community? Who better can take care of running a local government or a school district or the police department now than your Matt, own? Now, Matt doesn't consider himself a part of the United States of America. You serve this country with honor in the Army, yes? Mm-hmm. Do you, you consider yourself uh, an American? 
American citizens? Uh, according to the Constitution, black folks are not really citizens. We're still three fifths. They ain't fixed that yet. They ain't went back and erased that and wrote so much that we're still three fifths of a human, according to uh, the Constitution. The President of the United States military, is African American. The Attorney General is African American. And when I went to when I went to the military, I was I was nineteen. Okay, and I did not want to go to college. I wanted to travel, make money and learn a trade at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go to the military. It was my decision to go to the military. That's what I did. But I tell you what, when I was sitting there in Iraq and the BBC radio station would come on, the channel would come on and the, the Arabs or whoever, the people, they would be speaking and they would be saying, hey, you black soldiers sitting in the corner, why are you here fighting the white man's war at 19 years old? I didn't know what I know now. Had I knew then, what I know now, I would not have been in the military. What and I'm saying this, let me, say, let me say this, let me yes, say this. Sir. When I got back from Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. I was in the airport, long, a young 19-year-old in the airport, just getting ready to go home in South Bend International Airport. I was met by a white journalist. Hmm. And this white journalist looked at me as if I was a hero. As a matter of fact, when I got home, they came to my house the little apartment my mother and I lived in, in Benton Harbor, Michigan. And they had cameras just like this. And they had my story on the front of the newspaper. I was a hero. They didn't ask me how many people you killed over. They didn't give a damn. I could have killed hundreds of people. But as long as I did it for the European, it was OK. I was a hero. I witnessed that myself. And then they put me in the parade, parading me around the whole entire city. I was a hero to the whole city that day. Now, why is that? One of Matt's colleagues. Can you answer the question? I'm talking. I'm asking you a question. I'm oh, I'm sorry. Me and you dialogue. Yes, sir. I'm asking you a question. Why is that? Can you tell me that? Why was I a hero then? But now, because I'm just speaking. I'm just speaking now, and it seems to me as if I'm being portrayed as something other than. Why is that? Why am I a hero then to the European, but today, oh, he's a racist. Oh, he said the cracker must die. But you didn't give a damn when the European told me the Arab must die mm -hmm. when I went over there and they dropped all them bombs on the people. Did nobody give a damn about that then? But now today, all of a sudden, no, oh, he's a monster and he's a racist and he's this and that. How is that? So which are you think? Do you think you're no, a monster or a is hero? That? How is, why is that? I'm asking you, why, in your opinion, hmm. why is that? Hmm. Why was I a hero then mm -hmm. and now I'm being sitting here in front of a man who looks like me and he seems to be trying to portray me as something else? Even this man, I'm not trying to portray this you. man this here. I, my, my job this as man a here to here me is to say who to you be, are. This man here. Seems I'm trying to, to figure be, out who you are. This man here. I'm. This man here seems to be more in line with what I'm saying than you are. Hmm. That's the thing that trips me out. The American Western civilization is very key on pitting people like myself against people like yourself. That's amazing. Don't you? Don't you don't you why are we amazing? adversaries? We're not adversaries. Oh, we're we adversaries? not. But why are you acting as if we are? I'm not acting. Uh, please. I haven't raised my voice once. You don't have to. What? 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 A, what? The, a, the angle that you're coming from. The angle. Yes, What's my angle? angle? What's my angle? The angle of someone who wants to portray me as something I am not. That's the angle. Here, here's a story that I mean. I feel like when this story airs, I can sit next to you at your home and watch and say, "Yep, that was true." The story that we're working on is a story about about Matt Heimbach, who is a 22-year-old college graduate. Who wants to? Who believes in separation? That that rate, that this country should be separated based on race. There are many people in the United States of America who would find that as, uh, at best, unusual; at worst, potentially dangerous. You're someone in the city of Chicago. You have this uh, this show that you do on television, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you post it on your videos are posted on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I would presume that you do that. The largest audience, I think, was about 900. Usually it's about 250, 300 people would watch your videos. But you're someone as an African-American man, born in this country, who served in the US Army in the first Gulf War, that you're someone who also advocates the races living separately. You've said things on television that some would consider, uh, at best, provocative, be possibly dangerous. I think many reasonable people would find it strange that you would toast what happened to innocent people in Boston. 
some people, black and white, would be offended. There are people who are offended by the N-word that people in Matt's movement use. There are people who will be offended by the word you use, the C-word you use, to describe whites. Right, again, the, the word that's in the dictionary that white folks put in there. Again, I didn't put it in there. White people put cracker in the dictionary. And let me just educate you on it, maybe you don't know. But uh, Where cracker we comes from? used, yes, do you know, would you please explain that? Would sure. You? The word cracker comes from, it was used initially in Florida because they were cracker factories in the state of Florida. And so the poorest of the poor, when you couldn't get a job any place else, as a white person, you would get a job in a cracker factory. So a common reference to poor whites in North Florida back in the 1950s, 1940s was cracker. There are people who you will meet in Florida, if you ever visit Florida, who will take that term with great affection. They, they pride themselves in being cracked. So the original term was Florida crack. Mm -hmm. So the crack is the word. Okay, now tell me why we use the word crack. Our people on the plantation, we got, we got to wrap this up. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't use the word. Okay, I don't well, use. I just put like this. Let me go in this here because we got to go. I got to respect the time. Violence. This ain't, this, Grace, this ain't with the violence. Me. We talked on that just for a second. I don't think we got but too this, much. This, of this, this is we, we, my people use the Next word. Next step for them. Cracker, because on the plantation there was a person who would, the cracking sound of the whip on our back. That's why we said, here come the cracker, the one who was actually beating up. That's why we used mm. the word.